Welcome to Thinking Rich with Amy Robles. This is the podcast made for you, the smart, ambitious woman. Thinking Rich is the show to help you think bigger, create your business you love, and keep your family first. We know when you enrich a woman's life, you help her entire circle of influence. Now here's your host, Amy Robles. Hey, welcome back. I'm delighted to have you on the show. You know, there's a lot of times you prep for a show, you've got all the ducks in a row, you're ready, and you sit down to record and you realize there's one more thing that has to happen. That's exactly what happened with this episode. I feel like you and I need to have the conversation before we have that conversation. Today is International Women's Day, and people get uncomfortable when we have that conversation about the rights of women. And I can feel every time any something like that comes up, it's kind of like you feel everyone sit up a little more straight posture and you can't tell if they're going to be get a little more serious and defensive or if they're going to be really like trying to get out of the conversation, just get up and leave the table, whatever the situation is, and move on. It's that weird, uh, everybody has their stand, kind of like your commitment to financial security or your commitment to your political party or even if, or if you de- even choose to worship. There's so many levels of that commitment, of that personal, where do you stand on the issue? What is your drive? And it's so interesting that I, this is so important to have this right now. And I need to tell you, I am not here to make you uncomfortable. But I truly believe in understanding what is gender equality. Did you know that the world is searching so much for the term gender equality? Google shared a video specifically of the most looked up terms in different areas. You can see Salt Lake City looked for this and down in Brazil, they looked for this term. And it's so interesting how we're all seeking some sort of inspiration direction and a way to connect and get involved in what is happening in this conversation of gender equality. Interestingly enough, did you know that the most looked up word according according to Merriam-Webster was feminism? Last year, 2017, people looked up the word feminism more than any other term. I just find that we are in an interesting time in our lives. And supporting Women's Day does not make you anti-male. It's looking and seeing how far we have come. When you consider that without the women before us paving the way, you and I would not be able to vote. We could not own our own land. We would never be able to own our own home, have our own banking account, pursue the education that we want, or even our own business dream and entity. Doesn't a world like that just seem outrageous, unacceptable? Those are the words that come to my mind when I hear that. And that's that's what just rings through. That's why today I choose to honor those who have made life better for me. And I take that responsibility very seriously because I want it to be even better for my daughter. Women's International Day has been observed for over a hundred years. The suffragettes were getting us the right to vote so we could contribute and be part of society. International Women's Day is celebrated in many countries around the world. It's the day when women are recognized for achievements without regard to division, national division, ethnic division, language, the culture, the economy, or even your political party. And so I was thinking of all of this. It's a big picture. It's a big issue we need to address. There is so many entities. How can we break it down and make it simple for you and I, because our lives are full. We look at our schedule on the day and just go, dude, I don't, wow. 
I do not know how I'm going to fit one more thing in. I am right there with you. And so as I was doing all of this research, I wanted to find the most simple ways so that you can support International Women's Day. Some of these were written for by women for men. Some of these articles were written for general population. It's it, There's a lot of different ideas here. So my challenge is to you, clearly, we are thinking that it's important for women to be able to have their own identity. It's important for them to be able to fulfill and realize their full potential because they can give even more to the world. So I was looking for ways that you and I can support International Women's Day and still be keep up our regular daily schedule, our full lives, and do something. The first one that just stood out to me, number one, call mom. Isn't that amazing? To honor International Women's Day, take a minute. Maybe it's been a month since you talked to your mom. Maybe it's been six months. Just that quick phone call to honor the woman who has led you in your life. And if that's not mom, if there's another role model, if there's someone that's really been influential in your life, it's definitely worth making a quick phone call and expressing that. Number two, choose your words more carefully. I had a conversation with a very dear friend of mine, Claire, and he was talking about specifically about all of the different words, the slang, the choices, the kind of the meanest thing you can call someone usually refers to the female. And I I never had thought about that in my life. And when you look at that, it's just a societal norm that when we insult someone that we compare them to a female. And I don't understand where that came from. But once we choose the words differently and how we express ourselves, we are definitely making an impact. In fact, in this article, they say word choice makes a huge difference in how you portray yourself and how you make women feel. Men are expected to fulfill a stereotype of strength and aggression, while women are expected to be deferential and fragile. Mm, That is powerful. That when we understand that we're just fulfilling the stereotype, it gives us an opportunity to pause, step back, and reevaluate our word choices. Number three, stand up so that all girls can have an education and work to support herself. In my research, just found some interesting statistics that I was like, whoa. How is that even possible? Did you know that two thirds of the 774 million illiterate people in the world are female? That is unacceptable to me. 31 million girls of primary school age are currently out of school. How are we just missing the opportunity to help them grow and progress. I have a little girl in that age group and she loves school. I can't imagine being out of that, not only the educational pursuits, but her social situation. Um, There's so many elements to what she's getting in the educational system. And then the other part of that, the other end is being able to work and support herself as a woman. You know, we think that in today's world that either you decide to be a career woman or you decide to stay home and be mom. And looking at recent statistics, 80% of women in America become mothers by the age of 45. And so there's this crazy idea that either you're working or you're home, that you shouldn't have both. And it's been amazing to see how we've grown a little bit and progressed, how women are trying to see and make more of finding the path that works for them. And that's really my top pursuit in this podcast, how we can help more women find. But research also has shown that childless women are being penalized by society's bias because women are supposed to be moms. 
we have no idea the circumstance other women are under. Maybe having a child would be the worst thing in their time. Maybe they are not equipped. Maybe there is so much more of their fertility struggle, of the challenge of trying to figure out how to financially support and have go through the adoption process. I just think we're missing the boat where making it so night and day on these issues. And we need to be more understanding and more supportive of women who may or may not be married, may or may not have children. On both ends, you can just see how we, we are really doing them and our whole society a disservice by treating them this way. Which brings us to step number four. You could choose to support and celebrate the men who support women and make family a priority. I was going through doing all the research and I found this article in Forbes and I really was amazed and I was applauding as I was reading it because so many times it seems like if you are supporting feminism and being able to educate women and in rich their lives, that somehow that takes away from the quality of life of men. And that is so untrue. The article goes on to say that when men have a healthier work and life balance, women are allowed and given the space to realize their potential. When men are more involved in the family, then it's amazing the growth that can happen in both parties in in the relationship. You know, we live in a military area and there are billboards and there are big posters in the mall that say, hey, be a good dad today. I've never seen anything like that for women. I've never seen any sort of a sign that says, hey, you have children. Remember to be a good mom today. It's just part of who we are. We love to achieve the results and it take on goals and new opportunities, but we also understand the importance of nurturing and really investing in our children and in our loved ones, in those we are caring for, in aged parents, in those who are struggling with disability and finding that very unusual, distinct balance to make life work forward. Men, if you are very interested in pursuing more of being able to support International Women's Day, you can join MARC, M-A-R-C, which stands for Men Advocating Real Change. This is an organization that really has worked to be more supportive on the issues that are important and could be a timely opportunity for you and your family. So all of that brings us to step number five, something you could do. Help those who are re-entering the workplace. We talk about a lot of how the balance between trying to care for family and loved ones as needed and trying to be out in the workplace is so different than you've, than has ever been before. And I, I just found an organization that I thought was definitely worth a mention. I'd like to do a lot more digging in and have a little bit more research in there to tell you about. It's called pathforward.org. And Path Forward is on a mission to empower women and men to restart their career after taking time off for caregiving. Their work with program participants in enlisting partner companies is supported by contributions by different entities. And instead of having internships, they offer returnships. So you have an in with a company, you also have more information on how to get started and really beef up your skills as you're getting back into the workplace. I thought when I saw that, I just thought, man, a lot more people need to know about that. I just really want to make sure we mention that. Just a couple more ways that you can easily, simply support Women's International Day. Number six is make a donation. I specifically put this later in the list because 
I think a lot of times when people say, hey, here's a way that you can show your support, we want your money. Hey, well, you could show your support, open your wallet. And I, I don't want it to start with that. Sometimes a personal contribution is what you can give at this time instead of actually taking from your family's budget. And maybe that's not, you have less time, but you have more financial resources that would be helpful for you. And so I included, man, there are a lot of organizations doing some good work here. Uh, there's an, I found an article about nine different organizations that are supporting International Women's Day. The one that really stood out to me is Room to Read. And they are helping teach gr- to teach girls around the world how to read, how to protect their bodies, and how to be safe in their own environment in different circumstances. And finally, I've put a link in the show notes, step number seven, commit to supporting the Press for Progress in the year 2018. And in this link, you'll go to women internationalwomensday.com slash press for progress, there is a way that you can commit to gender equality and to commit to supporting the gender parity mindset. And it's a total, there's five different options that you give that you you can choose whichever one and then commit, put in your information and just make your own personal commitment. So when you go to the site, you can choose specifically how you personally make your own commitment. So you choose to, I will press for progress and option number one, maintain a gender parity mindset, which is question any lack of women's participation, identify alternatives that are more inclusive, I'll nominate women for opportunities, I'll always include and support women, and I'll think of 50-50 as the goal, and that might be the perfect opportunity for you. Maybe it's, I will press for progress and challenge stereotypes and bias. What that means is they're asking you to question assumptions about women, challenge statements that limit women, always use inclusive language, work to remove barriers to women's progress, and buy from retailers who position women in positive ways. Another option, and option number three, I will press for progress and forge positive visibility of women. They're asking you to do that by identify ways to make women more visible, extend opportunities to women first, assume women want opportunities until they decline, and select women as spokespeople and leaders and support visible women. Two more options. Maybe you would rather influence others' beliefs and actions. And that you would do by supportively calling out appropriate behavior, campaigning for equality in meaningful ways, leading by example via inclusive actions, or be a role model for equality, or actively contribute to changing the status quo. And then finally, celebrate women's achievements. That would be believe achievement comes in many forms, value women's individual and collective success, ensure credit is given for women's contributions, celebrate women role models and their journeys, and support awards showcasing success. I'm not going to tell you which one I chose, which one I filled out. But once you click on that, go ahead and tweet me and we'll just talk back and forth. Supporting International Women's Day is one way that we can enrich another woman's life. It's one way where we can stand together and forge forward to help all of us. Because like you, I believe when you enrich a woman's life, you impact her entire circle of influence. So today, especially on International Women's Day, I'm asking you to make the choice to make a difference. You are a smart, ambitious woman. It's time to shine. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening today. Remember, you can enrich your life and your bottom line. It starts with you. See you next time on Think Enriched with Amy Robles. 